Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, tonight we're going to be adding some walls into our level so that we can have some collisions and things to work with. Um, but first I wanted to just um, put a plug in for the Shiva uh, wiki. I'm, I'm going to put a, a link down in my description, the video description. Um, I would recommend going and checking it out. There's some great information on there. Lots of code samples, lots of uh, tutorials. Um, Shando's got a great uh, PDF book um, that uh, has a lot of great information in it. Bruiser's got some uh, the Shiva Minute that goes through a lot of um, different videos on how to do things within Shiva. Uh, Red Ketchup's got some stuff for people that are maybe are more familiar with Unity. So there's a lot of really good information on there. The forums have a lot of good people in there that um, answer questions all the time. So it's a very active community. So I recommend you go and check it out. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is add some walls uh, to the game here. So first of all, let's go to create. Let's go to model. Let's go to shape box. We're going to call this wall. Um, we're going to do it two units in the X direction, 10 in both Y and Z, just to create a standard wall. Um, now I'm going to load this up by double clicking on it and we'll see that uh, we've got this nice lovely shade of pink as always. So let's click on the wall, let's right click on it, go to attributes and then collider because I want the ball to be able to collide with this so we'll set it as a collider. And then I also want to assign a material to it so it doesn't have that awful pink color uh, when we go to render it. So let's go over to design view. Um, Let's see here, open. It's kind of funny, there's already a material here because I was testing testing it, but it doesn't actually exist. So let's go ahead and close it. Okay, so create. We're gonna call this wall material. Okay, we're going to, as we did with the other ones, we're just going to adjust the per pixel lighting, turn it on, go down to color. Let's make it, uh, Let's make it a green color, maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so we will s save and let's go back to the general view here and let's drag and drop the wall material onto the wall. Let's see what it looks like when we go into runtime mode. All right, so we have a green wall. Um, if we come over here and double click on level, it'll ask us if we wanna save our wall. Yes, we do. Let's switch back over to textured mode so we can see what we're doing. And let's go to the models in our data explorer. Let's drag and drop the wall. Okay, so just to, so I can get a feel for where I'm at, I'm gonna put this to zero and zero. Okay, so um, let's get this lined up a little bit better so we're looking directly down. So. I'm cheating a little bit and I'm using my 3D Connection Space Navigator to navigate around in. I'm not very good at using the mouse. Um, I just, I love using this thing and so um, I, I believe there's, you know, you want to check out the, check out the documentation on it. I believe, you know, using the middle mouse button and a few other things you can actually rotate in 3D and see, um, you know, what's going on. I, I'm just, I love the Space Navigator thing so that's what I use um, no matter what three-dimensional software I'm using. So I just, I just don't like navigating with the mouse. Anyways, so uh, let's move this, ball, this wall over. Um, we either click on translate up here, we hit the Z key, it gives us the little widgets here to select where we're going. Um, I also wanna move on the Y axis, let's move up five units so that the wall is actually um, you know, out of the floor there, okay. So the next thing I want to do is let's scale it up so we have a little bit of distance. You know, it's kind of a small wall here. So let's go to the scale and we're going to move in the Z direction. Let's scale it up a little bit. Let's switch over to translation using the Z key. We'll move it up to about there, maybe a little bit further. Okay, now as long as I have this selected and I'm in the scene viewer, I can go ahead and hit Control Delete or C Control D. Uh, as in dog, and it's going to create a duplicate. So then I can just drag this duplicate copy over here. Let's drag and drop another wall. 
I'm going to pull it up on the y-axis again, five units. And let's move it down here. Let's rotate around a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Move it back. I'm going to scale it up again um, just because I want this to be a little bit longer. And then I'm also going to do rotation, which is the E key. And we're going to rotate it around the Y axis. And then let's Z for translation. Let's move it back to about there and then move it. I think that's about good. Let's see what happens when we. Okay. Yeah, that's about good. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of putting a little curve, well not a curve, but a slant here so the ball has something to um, ricochet off of. Now I'm not doing this as like a level, this is just some prototyping, I just want to get something up and going just so we can see how it interacts with the world. So let's go at 5 units on the Y axis, I dragged another wall in here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate on the, 90, on the Y axis 90 degrees so that the wall is facing this direction. And... Um, let's go ahead and scale it up as well. So we're going to hit R to scale. Scale in this direction here. Z to translate. Move it down. And I'm going to have to go from a different angle here so I can see what I'm doing. That's about right. Okay. Overlap is fine. Not a big deal. Let's pull out a little bit there. Okay. So Control D to duplicate that wall as well. We will move it over. Move it out this way, scale it down a little bit, so hit R and pull it in and oops, wrong direction. Control Z undoes what you just did. Okay, well let's there we go. Okay, Z to translate again and let's move it back so it's hitting up against this wall. Okay, and one last time let's drag and drop a wall in. We'll move it up five on the Z axis again, or the Y axis again. Move it back here so it's lined up with the end of this and let's scale it again R okay Z to move it and I think that should do it yeah like I said overlap doesn't really matter I'm not too concerned about it okay so let's move the camera back here to the beginning of the level because right now, since we're not doing anything fancy with cameras, this ball or the camera is going to be exactly where we put it when the game starts. So let's go up to scene, save, let's start it. Now, the other thing that I didn't tell you guys about is that I jacked up the power on the uh, on the ball. So it's uh, got a little bit more force behind it because I wanted to see see it actually go somewhere. So you can see it goes and it ricochets off. So that's all I wanted to do in this video. You can kind of get a feel for maybe what the gameplay is going to be like. Um, it's going to, you know, we'll have some objects that you can place in the level and we'll have a target at the end. And you place the object so that the ball will rebound off those objects and make it to the end. Uh, we're eventually going to also make it so that um, before you launch the ball, um, you can aim. So the camera will be right behind the ball and you'll be able to um, move around and aim, you know, get the angle that you want to launch the ball in, and then once you, you know, tap the screen somewhere or click on your mouse, whatever the case may be, it'll launch, and then uh, you'll be able to ricochet it off certain objects and get it to the uh, the goal. Um, so hopefully it'll be a bit of a challenge. Um, hopefully we'll have some cool levels, and hopefully I'll get a lot of feedback from you guys. Um, just wanted to um, say thank you to Shando. He was my first person for getting on the, the forum and giving me some feedback on the game. So I appreciate it a lot. Um, please keep those comments coming in. Um, no matter how big or how small you think it is, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I don't really care. Um, this is a learning experience and I want this to be the best thing that it can be. And that means that I'm going to rely on you guys to let me know, um, you know, if, if my design just sucks, um, or if it's good or whatever. So just give me some feedback. Um, and thanks for tuning into the video. Hopefully you go and check out the, uh, the Shiva Wiki. Talk to you later.